yeah, I think it's sensible for, for, for London, much as I'd love to be able to just walk down the road, get on a bus and go there. I think it's at the moment they've lost so much of that side that they need to rebuild. And I think they've got a big job on their hands to rebuild into a top championship side and then get promoted and then add to that. Yeah. I think they've lost they've lost two waves and they're really three waves now from that squad. So I don't think they're at a level where they could could necessarily compete. Who do I think it will be is the next question. I'm really worried it's going to be Bradford. Well, I wrote my opinion piece in uh, that we put up on the superleaguepod.com blog um, last week and said how I would prefer it to be Toulouse, um, how I only really see Toulouse, Lee or Featherstone being able to compete on the field. Um and for reasons off the field, I have a much bigger preference for Toulouse than than Derek Beaumont. Um, and I, uh, you yeah, don't fancy but, a trip to Fev then. But the more the more this is being looked at, the more like it looks a, a, a sacrificial lamb situation. Um, and Bradford, really, everyone should be thinking. Every other club should think Bradford suits them most because. It's a one-year thing. It won't affect the broadcast deal the year after because Bradford won't be in the Super League the year after. Um, you know, a 39-year-old or 38-year-old Danny Brough off a year out from playing um, alongside Jordan Lilly sounds captivating, but I just don't think that there's an anywhere near enough in that squad. I'll tell you what, they'll win, they'll win a couple of one-off games at the, at the beginning of the season, get everybody excited, and then they'll just crumble when, they, when a few injuries hit them. And 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 then, but every Super League club will benefit from their travelling fans in a, in a world where we're allowed to have them. I think everyone making this decision needs to take travelling fans off their board. One, because we should never make any fucking decisions in rugby league about how many away supporters clubs bring. Make the decision on how many home supporters will they be able to generate themselves. Um, but two, how do we know that we're even going to be allowed away supporters in stadiums in most of next year, if not? You know, all, I know we're, we're hopeful from April it'll be somewhat normal, but there'll still have to be some some things considered. Um, it just seems foolish, but yeah, I mean, do we trust this government to deliver something in mass quantities quickly? Well, they've got five months. Yeah, exactly. Do we try? I I'll leave you to make your own judgments on that. <laughs> Let's um. Let's roll through some signing news in the championship division then. Tim? Yeah, Oldham have completed the signing of Lee Centurion's winger, Ryan Ince. The former witness winger scored 19 tries in 22 games of the Vikings last year before joining the Centurions. I like Ryan Ince. I think he's good. Halifax have signed Huddersfield Giants youngster Ben Tibbs. The versatile outside back played for Yorkshire in last year's War of the Roses and was highly regarded at the Giants, but the cancellation of reserve grade left him looking for a club, allowing Fax to make their move. Continues the good relationship between those two clubs, I would say. Yeah, very much so. Halifax have also completed the signing of halfback Liam Harris. The playmaker links up with Fax on a one-year deal from Super League side Hull FC. The 23-year-old? Really? Will reunite a half-back partnership with Colin Robinson, who has also joined Fax for next season. I feel a bit like Liam Harris's career has been put on pause, just like every player outside of the Super League this year. Um, but he's yeah. had that pause for two years. Yeah, I'm just surprised he's only 23. Jewsbury Rams have completed the signing of youngster Rhys Chapman Smith. The former Leeds Rhinos Academy player joins the Rams from Halifax. Predominantly a fullback, the 22 year old can play a variety of positions. Yes, utility value for the Rams. Lee Centurions have completed the permanent signing of back Craig Mullen. The youngster was on loan with the club from Wigan in 2020, but has now joined on a permanent basis. At least he only has to get one bus. Different. <laughs> That I mean, again, utility value, but also I thought he'd gone permanently at the start of this year. So there you go. Uh, Lee Centurions have made their, another addition to the um, side with the capture of Toronto prop Adam Sidlow. The Bradford, the former Bradford middle joins the club to take the spot left vacant by Adam Walker, who left the club earlier in the week. Sidlow is the fourth Wolfpack player um, to join Lee for 2021, following Blake Wallace, Matty Russell and Joe Meller to the LSV. I think it's a great signing. 
I mean, if you want someone who's big and bad, he's your Sid. And engine, <laughs> commitment, great signing. Yeah, good, good for them. Uh, York City Knights have captured outside back Kieran Dixon from London Broncos on a one-year deal. Dixon, who's 28, began his career in 2012 for a three-year spell at his hometown club, London Broncos, where he was rewarded with a coveted England Knights jersey and returned a four-year stint in 2017. In between, Dixon spent two years with Hull KR in Super League and appeared in the 2015 Challenge Cup final. He appeared in it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Do you know what? When I saw that in the in on one of the news stories about this, I thought I'm copy and pasting that one. There's no way I'm not going to try and get Tim to read that out. <laughs> what Tim missed was it says a game where Rovers were handed a record breaking 50 nil defeat by the Leeds Rhinos. Um, Tom Andrews got in touch though, didn't he? He said good signing for York. Well, unless they end up at Wembley. But what mm. do you think? Because you followed Dixon being a London and a Hull KR um, follower, you followed Dixon's career. Yeah, I think he's I think he's a cracking player. I feel in a way it's a shame he didn't stay with London. All I can think of is that York have offered him some significant money to do. I was on the impression he was kind of settled a bit more back in London and was enjoying being back home, which is why he'd stayed for that sort of longer stint after his um, Hull KR experience. But good on him. I think if this is where he goes, and there is, of course, the potential that York could be a Super League side in one or two years in you know, this season or next so this, for me it's one of the most exciting of York signings for next year because he's not 34 35 um i mean he is going to be like the, he's going to be on the young young table isn't he <laughs> he's, he seems younger in spirit anyway um to lose a old, old tash though yeah Toulouse have confirmed the signature of St. Helens forward Dom Peru. The back rower joins the Flames French club for 2021. London Broncos have retur- retained captain Will Young. Yeah. London Broncos Will have retained. <laughs> yes, they have. It's, it's all that they want. Um, London Broncos have retained captain Will Lovell and Fedo Academy prop Sadiq Adebay for 2021. Back rower Lovell who's 27, made his first team at debut for the Broncos back in 2012 and has made more than 60 appearances for the club as well as spending time with the London Scholars. Nigerian forward, Nigerian-born forward Adebayi, who's 23, also progressed through the London Academy and has played more than 40 games for the club since making his debut in 2015. He also had a short spit spell on loan at Oxford when they existed and he has earned two caps for Nigeria. Isn't that under um, former lead sensation Eddie Rombo? I'm not sure. Uh, is he Nigeria? Or is he was Kenya? the cap. He was the coach when he was when he was capped. But um, what I do know is that Will Lovell's one of the players who, if you measure from top to bottom, is one of the biggest. And Adebayi, if you measure like him around his shoulders, is one of the biggest. Uh, you would not you would not want to be hit by those shoulders would you no no he's barrel chested to the uh to the to the nth degree as well i think he's in a good in a good way though not in a none of that's loose and will lovell's a very athletic player as well so it's good 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 they are good retentions after we've been talking about some big like holes for london they're good retentions Former Scotland international Brett Carter has signed a new one-year deal with Whitehaven. The 32-year-old has joined Haven from his hometown club Barrow ahead of the 2020 campaign. Tell you what, if he get if he gets a few points and a few tries in his belt, he could be um, Carter, the unstoppable scoring machine. I don't get the reference. Sorry. Carter USM, so they're a band. All right, no, sorry, no, way okay. over my. I think niche is where I'm yeah. going with that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Um, into, into the League One then I think it is Tim yep Rochdale and Barrow will apply for a place in the Championship well I suppose Barrow need to pay off their fine to the government somehow while Hunslet have confirmed they will remain in League One next season Super League are seeking their 12th hang on this doesn't make sense no Super League are seeking their 12th team for 21 
2021 following Toronto Wolfpack's failed bid to be readmitted in the top flight. As a result of this, the championship will be left with 13 teams, so one team from League One has the chance to move into the second tier. League One hopefuls have until December the 2nd to submit their application to be considered gaining a championship's 14th spot for 2021. Rochdale and Barrow have already confirmed they'll be launching bids to enter the championship, while Hunts that say they do not much match the RFL's criteria of an average crowd sizes and a top four finish in either 2018 or 2019. A five-man panel chaired by Dean Andrew OBE will make the decision, with the club set to take the 14th spot in the championship will be left vacant by the club promoted to Super League. Barrow and Rochdale will compete with Doncaster, Newcastle and Workington for that one spot. Clubs intending to apply must have had a regular season attendance of 750 or above in the past two years, as well as a stadium operational capacity, which all five clubs tick. Yeah, actually, I meant to research what the operational capacity was meant to be because I couldn't find any of the press releases about this that mentioned it at the time, but I never got around to it. Um, Hunslet seemed incredibly delighted about not making the criteria, which was which was strange. <laughs> but, um, Do you ever see the photo when they when they Hunslet released a statement of Chairman Kenny Sykes and his blazer? I mean, it's it's probably the best blazer in rugby league. I would go as far as to say. Does it? Is it the kind of thing that would? But um, belong in the in an ensemble background of Fred Dunn's front room, quite possibly, <laughs> or an outtake from Heidi High. <laughs> um, Doncaster and Workington have confirmed that they're going for it as well now, haven't they? Since we, uh, since I typed up the rundown, yeah, I, um, I think Doncaster, yeah, are a sensible bet if they got, they got it. To be honest, Newcastle haven't yet confirmed, but we have to assume they be because uh, they were talking about wanting to jump over jump over championship and go to Super League at one stage, weren't they? So, well, they, they want to win Super League in well, how many years have they got left? Eight years now. I don't know. Anyone who sets out a five years to win Super League when you're not in the Super League. Um, needs to think about what's happened to other clubs who've set out with those sorts of ambitions and um, see how the Crusaders and the Toronto Wolfpack don't exist anymore. I think. Or the Gloucestershire All Golds. Mm. Have caution there. The All Golds still exist. That's a no, community they don't. club and a, some sort of Bristol College thing. Yeah, well, they're, they're not actually doing anything on a, on a rugby league field, they're just fanning around off it. Um, Workington have signed hooker Matty Henson from Egremont Rangers for 2021. Town have also announced the signing of former Hensington and Whitehaven, Hensingham, sorry, and Whitehaven forward Jordan Thompson. Reese Clark will t- spend his tenth season as a Newcastle Thunder player in 2021 after signing a new de- deal to remain at King- Kingston Park. The 29-year-old has made more than 140 appearances for Thunder. Workington have re-signed trio deck. Uh, sorry, have signed trio Deco, Donald, Calvin, Wellington, and Jake Moore from the Ottawa Aces for 2021. The three players had signed contracts with the Aces for next season, but the Canadian club have postponed their entry um, into League One until 2022 due to the coronavirus pandemic. Island hooker O'Donnell and centre Wellington returned to Workington after leaving to take up full-time deals with Ottawa, so, so they're back where they were. While back rower Moore has also spent time um, at Derwent Park in 2017 and 2018. So. I was right when I said re-signed, even though I read it wrong. <laughs> Do you think, like the Simpsons, they made them crawl through the um, the, the return door? <laughs> I haven't watched the Simpsons for about six years. Sorry yeah, but this is an this is an old Simpsons reference because I haven't I've probably about the same time. But when <laughs> when Homer quits his job to go off and do something, and Burns made him crawl back through like a tiny little door of shame. Right. Anyway, that's that's why I imagined in my head. There we go. Some that's people will enjoy two... the Simpsons reference. It went way. Oh, basically, Tim's knee shashmuses are going over my head today. <laughs> yeah, if, if you get both of them, well done. Uh, Keith Lee have signed utility back Bobby Derbyshire, great name, following his departure from Wakefield. The 19-year-old joins his hometown club for 2021. Um, Newcastle Thunder have signed utility back Callum Turner from Castleford for the 2021 season. The 23-year-old joins Thunder after making 15 first-team appearances for Super League side Castleford. So that's two young full-backs that Cass have lost. But Callum Turner will be a great signing for a League One side. Definitely, yeah. Um, Castleford have added another Super League player to their ranks 
with the capture of Catalan youngster Lucas Albert. The playmate